the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has determined that Class II deep injection wells provide the safest method for disposal of oil field waste fluids. Ohio has granted regulatory authority over Class II and Class III injection wells in 1983 after a U.S. EPA review and determination that Ohio's regulations met or exceeded all U.S. EPA standards. Ohio injection well regulations are written to provide citizens health and safety protections and to minimize environmental risks associated with this oil field waste disposal method. Ohio enacted updated rules for Ohio's Class II injection wells in January of 2022, updating and enhancing regulations in multiple areas, including increased setbacks, permitting requirements, public notice, construction standards, and more. In the history of Ohio's program, there have been no cases of groundwater contamination caused by the proper disposal of oil field waste fluids through underground injection. Today, Ohio's Underground Injection Control Program is one of the most stringent in the nation. The permitting process is overseen by ODNR experts in geology, hydrology, and seismology. These experts ensure that each well is designed to protect the environment and comply with all Ohio's relevant statutes and rules. Before an order is issued to operate a Class II injection well, ODNR requires operators to provide geophysical logs and tests obtained either during or after drilling of the well. Additionally, ODNR may request an investigation of potential faulting in the immediate vicinity of the proposed injection well or a plan to monitor any seismic activity in the area. Oil field waste fluids will be transported to a facility and pumped directly into storage tanks. After allowing time for particulates to settle and after filtration, the resulting fluids are injected deep below the Earth's surface. Spill prevention safeguards are also required at each well site. An underground drain system connected to a sealed concrete vault will be located below the brine truck unloading pad. This serves as a containment vessel if a spill occurs while the brine hauler is unloading the fluid targeted for injection. The above ground storage tanks are surrounded by concrete walls or lined dikes that are designed to contain spills. In order to transport oil field waste by truck to an Ohio Class II injection well, brine haulers must be registered, bonded, and insured with the ODNR Division of Oil and Gas Resources Management. The division cannot restrict waste from entering from other states, meaning registered out-of-state brine haulers may transport brine in Ohio to permitted injection wells. In order to ensure Ohio's groundwater is protected, Class II injection wells must have multiple layers of protective steel casings. Each casing is cemented into place. Inspectors from ODNR witness the casing installation and cementing operations to ensure compliance with Ohio's well construction requirements. Geologically, the injection zone for the brine fluid is located below multiple layers of confining rock, which keep the fluids contained in the porous rock formations below groundwater aquifers. Before the injection process begins, a tubing and packer assembly is inserted into the well to monitor for mechanical integrity and to prevent upward fluid movement. Inspectors from ODNR witness the packer installation and the mechanical integrity testing. After receiving authorization to inject from ODNR, brine fluid can then be pumped down the well into the permitted injection formation. Maximum allowable injection pressures are calculated using a formula established in Ohio's rules. By continuously monitoring the pressure of the injection tubing and annular space in the well, ODNR inspectors are able to ensure that mechanical integrity of the well is maintained. Operators are also required to test for mechanical integrity on a regular basis, and ODNR inspects Ohio's injection wells on average four to five times a year. Once in the permitted injection formation, the confining layers of rock 
prevent upward movement of the injection fluid. The porous nature of the injection formation allows the injection fluid to be contained below the groundwater aquifers. Through regulation and education, ODNR works to address additional aspects of oil field waste disposal, such as testing of certain radioactive materials. Ohio law requires testing of certain waste streams for radioactivity and establishes where or how these materials may be disposed. Brine, by law, is not required to be tested for radioactivity when disposed of in a Class II injection well. The Division of Oil and Gas Resources Management has trained radiation safety staff that enforce Ohio's laws and educate oil and gas workers. ODNR recognizes oil field waste fluids, when not handled properly, pose a threat to our environment and groundwater resources. Through proper application and consistent review of Ohio's stringent regulations, all oil field waste fluids can be transported and disposed of in a manner that is environmentally safe. The department will remain vigilant in the pursuit of our mission to ensure a balance between a wise use and protection of Ohio's natural resources for the benefit of all.